I remember being so nervous this day last year that I was literally nauseous. I feel like I should do a short little intro because there could be some new faces watching this video. So if you are new here, hello, my name's Matt. I am going to be a sophomore at Harvard, which is so weird to say. I still feel like I'm in eighth grade. I'm from the Boston area, so it's just a short little trip over to Cambridge, which makes the move-in process a lot easier. I'm moving into Lowell House today, which is one of the 12 upperclassmen houses at Harvard, and I don't have the time to explain that whole process right now, but a quick Google search should do it for you. Just did one more swoop of the upstairs and I think we're good to go. The only thing left to bring down is that hat rack and then a couple other random things that I just found here. It's so funny how like not sentimental this year's move in is. Last year when I was saying goodbye to my room and my dog, I was actually bawling and now I'm just so excited to get to school. Oh. Oh. It's been months since I've been up and over Makes me so forgettable And struggling to comprehend What's taking up my peace I can't stand what's on the radio I'd rather play Chicago While I'm driving to your neighborhood Speak till I pop the roof off But I already sweating and out of breath but here's a first glance at the room and I don't think we're gonna really move any of the furniture mostly because there's no space so dressers here we got a little windowsill looks out to one of the other houses that might be Leverett or Kirkland desk bed this is the official before just left we grabbed a quick lunch at Noakes before they went and I'm now on my own to finish up all of the unpacking I moved in at the earliest time on the first day because I just really want as much time as possible to really settle into this room and get everything situated before orientation and classes and all of the fun begins here's what we got done this morning the gallery wall has truly come to life I'm so happy with it the poster for that frame hasn't come in yet so when that's there it'll be done the mirror that I got from Ikea is perfect here. Fridge is set up and now it's just gonna be clothing and my desk. Thank you. 
sorry if you can hear the fan, but it's way too hot to turn it off. Desk is looking great, and then everything is pretty much organized in the dresser as well. Hats are gonna have to go up there because the hat rack didn't fit on this door, and then sweatshirts and sweatpants down there, and all of my towels are in the little drawer down there. Very much a work in progress, but I'm really happy with how it's looking for day one. I think I'm gonna go reunite with Emma and a couple of other friends, and then I desperately <laughs> need to take a nap. I've slept like 10 hours in the last three days, and my body's just starting to shut down on me. Everything is good. I'm so happy to be back. So bad, baby. <laughs> so bad. So excited. Round two. Round two. <laughs> Times am I gonna yawn in this vlog? That nap was the best thing to ever happen to me. Emma and her parents invited me out to dinner, so I'm gonna go join them at one of my favorite places in Cambridge. It's called Alden in Harlow, and it's kind of tucked away in Harvard Square, but it's so good. The vibes are great. My friends and I went so often last year. Changed into something new for dinner. Still pretty low key, but definitely nicer than what I was wearing earlier. The next day, but I thought before I ended off the move-in vlog, we could open up a package and do one last room thing. My duvet for this year came with matching shams, but I ordered the wrong size insert, so I just shipped the new ones here instead of home because I got my mailing address a couple weeks ago. With everything that I packed and brought for move-in, I forgot a pair of scissors which I feel like is one of the most essential things. So I've been opening up everything with the end of this charging brick. Innovation, that excites. After my first mistake, I took out a ruler and measured these sham covers multiple times. So if I mess this up again, I'm gonna be so annoyed with myself. In terms of shams, I wish they were a little bit bigger, but that's not my fault. I bought the right size inserts this time. It's just the size that the set came with. But either way, it'll look cohesive now. So I'm happy. Not bad. I think that concludes the sophomore year move-in vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I used to watch these videos all the time in high school, so it brings me a lot of joy that I can make my own now and share it with you. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Lots of college content coming, weeks in my life, days in my life, productive vlogs, all of that fun stuff. Be sure to follow me on all my other socials as well. I'm sure I'll be doing lots of Instagram storying and making TikToks about the move-in process as well. The shoe rack already fell. Okay. Talk soon.